Yo, what's up everyone? Zona right here coming at you with another gameplay video. Today we're playing Oriana in the mid lane, but this time I'm going to play it a little bit different. I'm going to play attack speed AP just like Power of Evil was trying to do during the EU LCS final of this summer split. This game I'm playing against an Airy. We're going to see how it goes. They do have a composition that is kind of all in with like Fiora, Jax, and Ranger, and Airy who are champions that tend to like jump in and just starting to kill one guy and get a 4v5 situation. This is not the best situation to do attack speed Ariana, but I'm still going to do it for the sake of the video and for the sake of just knowing if this thing actually works. Does it suck? Does it work? Is it valuable? Is it worth it? We'll know for these videos. Thank you so much for being here guys. Let's get into it. So if you guys don't know the build I'm going to do, I'm going to do two Doran Ring or one Doran Ring. We'll see uh, how many goals I can uh, gather early into the game. We're going to rush Rod of Ages and then we're going to do we're going to do Nasher's uh, Tooth. After this, I'm not sure what to do. I'll probably do something like Zonia's uh, or like maybe a Ginzu. I don't know. If you guys, if you guys think I'm going to win, Put it in the comment down below, and I guess we'll see at the end of the, the video if I win or not. But it should be uh, very interesting. Why is he not... Wait, she didn't do anything? Like, really? She just walked away? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the kill. <laughs> GG. Let's start the Rod of Asia. So right now... I just feel like I could build a normal like Morello and just crush the the hell out of her, but this video this video is about Rod of Ages. It's about Power of Evil. It's about knowing if things are worth it or not. So let's just get this. I can even get the Tom just to get ahead of the Codex that I'm gonna do for Nasher's Tooth. Let me come to you, bro. No. Oh my god, no way. That was bad. Oh, I suck. So when you lose lane, guys, like, you... You want to make sure you buy wards, because... If, if they can really snowball, like, when you get... Especially mid turret, they can go in this area super freely, like, they can do whatever they want. And in higher elo, not mine, I don't think they do that. But they would put very deep wars, they would start to ward your jungle and stuff. So it could be very dangerous, so make sure you gain at least control of your own jungle. So wait, let's not sell this, this is too much. Let's just start doing this. So this is where things get interesting. Um, was, like, I need to do, I need to understand that my damage comes from auto attacks now more than just like huge spells. So like, m my Z, my W, sorry, because I, I'm French, SRT board, whatever. Uh, it's going to be more like of a mobility spell more than like a damage spell. So maybe I should use this on the Tristana, so for her to reposition and stuff like that. I feel like most of you guys don't know what Nasher Tooth is because it's not a bill, it's not an item we see a lot. So this item gives you 50% attack speed, uh, 80, uh, 80 AP, 20% cooldown reduction, and every basic attack deal uh, 15 plus 33, which is like a, I think 0 0.2 ratio uh, of bonus magic damage on hit, which is. Uh, additional to your own passive that deals additional magic damage on hit as well. Yo, let's go, let's go. No, what the fuck was that, dude? Oh. Come on, come on, I can do better. Oh my god. I sucked. Oh my god, I sucked, dude. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake from my part. It's also like, I don't know, I it's it's awkward because I don't know when to put the shockwave. I feel like my shockwave isn't going to do a lot of damage, right? Like, it's not going to do a lot of damage. I have 200 AP, it's not going to. But it's more of like a control, like I need to reposition enemies in a certain way. And I was like, I felt awkward for a second. I was like, where do I, what do I do? Like, I was literally like, what do I do with this? I'm still not used to it. I'm, this is my first game playing Arena uh, at Speed, to be honest. So please be, uh, bear with me, I want to say in this. Okay, this is good. He's the focus, he's the focus. Okay. So I'm, I'm becoming some sort of support, I guess. This is kind of like a support Oriana as well. 
It's kind of weird because like you're, you're like in the back lane with the ADC and you're just hitting. You're heating. You're heating. So let's do. I want to do. Uh, I want to do Zonia's right now. I want to be a little bit more tanky to Jax. I don't want to be one shot at Fiona. It's like it's a Fiona Ranger. Um, is it Fiona or Fiora? It's Fiora. Oh my god. I always call Fiona, for example. I don't like. What the hell? Um, so yeah, they have a lot of AD, and Ranger is AD as well with the Lethali build. Ranger support. I haven't put in my ward anywhere. Oh no, why? Where are you going? We were having fun, dude. One eternity later. Hey, what's up, my man? Move your shit, move your shit, dude. Oh my god, they didn't do Baron. Wait, I already died from Tristan out here. They're gonna go back at it. What is something that gives me attack speed? Let's see if there's anything else that I can do. Let's do Witsen. You know what? Let's do Witsen because I'm not gonna play R now at attack speed all the time. This is like an experiment game for me. I don't really care about the Alo at this point. Like, I'm not trying harding this season too much. So, we might as well try. Like, I have 1.46 attack speed right now. Like, uh, attack per second, sorry. Let's see. Uh, let's see how is this. Like, I'm. I'm curious. I'm. Cur I really want to try this for for you guys and just for me as an experiment. There we go. Let's put the W here. Okay. I'm shielding this. I want. I want to protect her. So that team fight was very nice. Like I feel like you, like you go in, in the back lane of the back lane, some sort. Like you protect your ADC, and you do damage to whoever is closest. Like you, literally, you play like an ADC and a support at the same time. Twenty six. I have a lot of CDR with this build actually. It gives me so much shield and so much like ultimates. I can do it in ten seconds. Okay. Okay. Staying close to the Tristana. Staying close to the Tristana. That's good. That's good. That's good. Auto attacking. Auto attacking. I think we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Wow. I'm actually liking this build a lot. This is surprising. Like, in uh, technically, I'm pushing the turrets faster as well. well. This is not making a difference right now, but I feel like it's such an interesting build. I'm not sure about wit end. I'm not sure about wit end to be honest. Maybe that was a little bit too much. Maybe I should have built like something, uh, maybe like uh, void staff or something more oriented like this. But I was like, you know what? Let's go full force into the attack speed and see what it's like. My initial thought about Orna attack speed is that it was just missing the potential of like a full AP burst. But now I see how it makes sense. Uh, Oriana is a very shockwave dependent champion when it comes to a full AP build. It means that if you miss a shockwave, you lose the game. If you don't though, you win the game. And the pressure you lose when you miss the, the shockwave is huge. But when you attack speed Oriana, you have so much damage. Not only in teamfight because you play some sort of like ADC slash support role because you're shielding your ADC, you're protecting your ADC, and you, you're in the back lane. Uh, but... You also, wait, what was my, uh, I lost my train of thought, but it's, oh yeah, and it's also a lot of benef a beneficial uh, asset when it comes to uh, tower damage, like you're doing damage, like you're doing attack speed, you're putting more hits, technically you're pushing faster, and therefore you like, you're doing a better job, right? Even for farming jungle, like when I had time in lane and I had to farm the jungle and stuff, you do this initial damage with like the QWE, but then you have attack speed, like you can actually like do do a lot of damage. Maybe I should have went for some, uh, maybe I should have went for some uh, vamp, spell vamp. I'm not too sure how I would have designed this build or like what last item I should have got. I probably got an, a void staff or maybe I would have replaced this with a Benshee if the composition here was different. But it was a very interesting build, guys, and I hope it inspired you to try it at home. Uh, of course, if you have any question, 
feel free to put it down below, but this is really my first time playing this. And I wanted to try it because, as I told you, Power of Evil played it during the EULCS finals against uh, G2 Esports. And I thought it was interesting and it was worth a try. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you appreciate this video. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one tomorrow, guys. Cheers. Okay, no mistakes, but I'm burning out 21, will I make it out? 18, we would talk a lot at that coffee shop where I met you at Fast forward to the good times, I strayed away For the past two years, I thought I had to please others Thought I had to be something, but I had to be myself This my life song, this my motivation Yeah, I've done wrong, life been complicated for me